What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode with your boy, Mo Games. And today, we are going to be playing three scary games. Y'all like how I'm setting up the atmosphere? Like, I'm, I'm trying something different. I'm trying to set up the atmosphere. I'm trying to make it a little creepy. Like, sometimes I feel like I come off a little bit too happy when, you know, we about to play some scary shit. And, you know, really, maybe we shouldn't be happy because we about to play some scary messed up shit. But welcome to another episode with your boy, Mo Games. And we're getting ready to play three scary games today. And yes, they are free. I got them from Itch.io. We got Man in the Attic. We got Night Guard. And we got the Midnight Train. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think I did. Midnight Train. Uh, I know nothing about them. I don't want to know anything about them. I just want to entertain y'all. So, let's begin. It's story time. Sit your ass down, grab your drinks, grab your snacks, and let's dive on in. Listen to your boy Mo Games. All right, that's it. That's a long ass intro. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody. First game on the list today, we got Night Guard. You are a night guard. You're doing your fucking job, and then all of a sudden, someone comes and mess with you. So, uh, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but right now, I actually do security. So, I know how this feels. Another boring night. Another horror movie. Okay, I thought somebody was knocking. Uh, yeah. Night guard. Uh, yeah. Night guard. My life is... Whoa, whoa, hold on now. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? Maybe I should check the fuse box. Uh, a med kit. Yeah. Uh, so like I was saying in my intro, before I was really interrupted by that fire ass beat, uh, I actually do security right now. It it can be it can be scary sometimes. Not gonna lie, it really can. You don't know what to really expect on the job, a. Eh? And it really depends on where you are stationed at. So I get stationed different places depending on if I decide to like take like different extra shifts and shit. Like right now I'm I'm at like a law and uh attorney office. That's my main spot. But uh nice car, my salary won't let me buy one. But uh do I hope nothing pops up at, at me? Uh, sometimes I will take extra shifts and it sends me to places who I just got to be like, you know what? I'm here for the money. Some people don't know how to park their cars. Yeah, this is an asshole right here. I don't. But damn. Hold on, though. Hold on. In all fairness, this is a wide ass parking spot. You kind of got to blame. You got to blame whoever painted that shit. Oh, shit. Watch your corners, boy. Watch your corners. Watch your corners. Watch your effing corners, bruh. Watch them. Watch them, watch them, watch them. Yeah, see, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I would not be doing this. One of the most useful tools in the world. A screwdriver? That's the useful tool. Just a fuse. Check my back. Hold on. Always got to check your back, man. I'll be honest with you. I would never do no shit like this. I don't care what my uh, superior would tell me. Boxes. Okay. Damn, it looks like the fuse is blown. I need to replace it. Check your corners. Okay, nobody's, okay, no one's back there. Uh, so yeah, uh, we should definitely probably should just pick all this up. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, power's back on. Power is back on. We are set. But. Okay, I just got to check, man. What is that sound? Is it the gate? I guess I guess I should be going there. I shouldn't be trying to take that screwdriver. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
uh, and I have worked the gate before. I hate it, man. I hate it. You got to deal with so many freaking people and drunk people, personalities. Yeah, this gate closed. What the hell? The gate is closed. I should call the director. Yeah, bro. You don't even have a door, bro. That's the shitty part about you. What the, what the hell is that sound? Yeah, got my hair sticking up. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, where my flashlight at? Where's that coming from? My salary won't buy one. Hey, before I do anything, I need to I need to check. Hold on. Let me go back over here. I feel like that shit is coming from this car right here. Oh shit. Oh my god. It sounds like a baby. I need to open the trunk. How though? I ain't got no car, no car keys, no nothing. Oh shit. Who, the f who does this, man? Okay, hold on. Since this is the most useful tool in the world, we'll go ahead and take that. A med kit, another med kit. At least you guys got a med kit. We don't have none of that. You ain't got none of that shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! The lights went out again. It's a toy. What's going on? Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Are we supposed to pick it up? It's not funny. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh yo, yo. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't use the... Wait, wait, wait. Are we supposed to turn the freaking thing back on? Okay, so the toy... Oh shit. Bro, you ain't got no gun. I should check the fuse, bro, bro, we keep checking these fuses, man, it ain't the fuse, it ain't the fuse, bruh, it's not the fuse, what was that, what was that, who's there, I heard that, hey, yo, I heard that, I heard that. I heard that. Somebody was, somebody was, oh, somebody was sneaking up on me. Yo, bro. Somebody was sneaking up on me. Yo, yo, I'm watching, I'm watching. I'm not that kind of guy. Yo, close this door, bruh. Close this door, check the fuse. A power surge. The fuse box is completely blown. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, I hope you know how to fight. I'm telling you, like, something. Yo, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, I'm telling you, like, I ain't gonna let nobody just take me. Like, you could be big all you want, but you. Like, I'm fighting you, bro. I'm fighting you. I'm fighting you. I don't care how tall, how big you are. I'm I'm going to fight you. I might not win. That's fine. But you are going to regret taking my fat ass. So. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. Watch me do my dip. Uh. Wish I could run. But I can't run. My shift button won't work. I gotta go to work. I'm a security guard. Security guard. Yeah. I ain't got no gun. <gasps> the beat. What a beat getting violent like that. What a beat getting violent like that. Why is there blood everywhere? Oh. 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 Why is there a baby right there? Yo. 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 What the f is. Oh, there's someone bringing on my neck. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Why? Why does this security booth got no door? That is the lesson of the day. Don't do security in a booth that ain't got no door. Night guard. Remember, this is the introduction to a complete game. I hope you enjoyed. Wait, it's a it's a complete game? Hey, I gotta play that bitch. That's crazy. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's head to the game too. But that shit is crazy. I gotta play it. All right, everybody. Next game on the list, we got the game, the man in the attic. There's a man in your attic. You need to go up there and kick his ass, or he's gonna kick yours. Uh, that's all the lessons I'm going to teach you for today. Let's go ahead and get started. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room, looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time. And when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, somebody is here. There's a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night. A couple of times. I am an adult now. And that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Fine phone. Okay, I, I was like, who, who is that? Okay. Um, so I need to find my phone. Where is my phone? Oh, okay. I heard that bitch like that shit didn't sound like it was far. Oh, oh shit. I don't need to use the bathroom now. I wasn't even going to the bathroom. Where's my phone? There it is. I, I see it. Yo, it's a nice ass house. It's a nice layout. Check phone. Okay. Hey, brother. I just wanted to let you know that we are, that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time, and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are in their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Okay, so it's getting late, but I should clean up first. Uh, clean up dining table. Okay, I just gotta check, man. I gotta check, 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 check. One, two, clean up. Today, my brother came to visit, and he bought his family alone, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically, she is my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them. So we spent, <clears throat> damn, God, Lee, I got gas. So we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am 
I am pretty, I am a pretty good uncle. So I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her all the cartoon channels and left her there to watch some TV away from boring adults. She was grateful. Okay. I already know what happened. This girl saw a man in the attic. And he saw. And he saw her. I thought I heard noise. And he saw her. Bro, we need to turn on some lights. Bro, it must suck being alone. Oh, my God. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden, Li Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took... Okay, that's the a plane going on outside in the real world. Uh, it took a couple minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There's a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, right? Perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired. And soon after they left for the night, I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. All right. Y'all want my opinion? Y'all want my opinion? Yes or no? Yes, Mo Gang, we want you up here. I'm going to tell you right now. If a kid tells you that they saw some shit, believe them. It has been scientifically proven that kids know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to the paranormal. Time to go to sleep. Boiler room. I don't need to go in there. Bitch, I wasn't going in there anyway. Go to bed. Do I need my phone? What's this book? A guide to talking. A guide to talking about the web. Who... Who the hell does this dim with think he is? He think he better than people? You you think you so better than people you need to talk to the weather? Goofy looking mu Bro, I'm kinda cr I'm I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that door was closed. Okay. Gotta check. Uh, according to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before, before returning to returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. <laughs> These noises—they are coming from the attic. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit. I don't remember leaving this door open. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why are they making me do this? Do I get a flashlight? Jesus, I don't even get a flashlight. The nerve of these assholes. Yo! If you are in here, please leave. Why am I doing this by myself? Okay, we just gonna walk. We gonna, we gonna. Oh shit. Who's there? Who there? This is stupid. There is nothing up here. Oh! Go back to bed. Can we run and not walk? Yo. Yo. There's somebody up in here, man. There's somebody here, man. Close this door. Close the door. Oh, we can't even close the door. Bro, you tripping. You should have damn well near closed that door. Okay. Go to bed. Just go to bed. Bro, not even going to close the door? You asking for it, big dog. Bro, you asking for it. Oh, my God. If you hear noises... Why not close it? Oh, God damn. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you agnostically search for the cause, but you won't find anything. And you question it once more. Mm. Is the man in the attic real? I can't move. This is not me. 
I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Oh shit. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare. Hurry up and get it over. Oh! What is that? Oh, shit. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the... Oh, shit. Perhaps the man under your bed. I don't want no man to be up under... Hey, look, I ain't gonna even lie to you. Squirt, 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 squirt. You be under my bed, you getting a squirt, 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 squirt. Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Squirt, squirt, squirt. All right, everybody, for our third and final game of the evening, we got Midnight Train going anywhere. Uh, I thought this game looked kind of cute. And it's in the horror uh, dictionary. So, uh, I wanted to play it. I like games like these. It really kind of flips you, and they're usually pretty good. So, I'm going to hit start. Oh, hey, train's here. Hop right on in. Yes, sir. Pudding. I'm, I'm sure lucky I caught this one. I thought I'd have to go and find a hotel or something. I'm sleep I'm sleeping in my own bed tonight. Hashtag bless. Z text like hashtag. Hmm. This goat next to me. Dot dot dot. A business suit in a balloon. Maybe it's their birthday. Cool balloon, dude. Hey, happy birthday. Uh, no, let's say cool balloon, dude. We're gonna do that. Cool balloon, dude. Bop, bat, bat hummet. Bat hummet. Thanks. Bah. A lot of people have, have been assuming it's my birthday. That. It did, it did cross my mind. Oh, really? You don't say. The truth is, well, I actually have a date tonight. Oh, is it your date's birthday? No, no, nothing like that. But he said he's allergic to chocolate and flowers and grapes. So naturally, champagne is out of the question. Oh, so balloon? So you went with a balloon instead. God, that's done. No, we're not gonna insult him. He don't look like the type to insult. Oh, so balloons. Yeah, balloons. <laughs> Though, I do wonder if the heart shape is excessive. No, it's original. Oh, but that's so sweet, though. Okay. Oh, but that's so sweet, though. You really think so? Of course. Heck, if my first date showed up with a heart-shaped balloon, I'd be into it. Thanks. I need a little reassurance. <laughs> hey, dude, no worries. I'm a professional at reassurance. Oh, so you're like a motivational speaker. Uh, yes, and my motivation doesn't come cheap. Only sometimes. We, we're, we are not going to act like an asshole. We're going to do only sometimes. Only sometimes. My dude push looks like he can pull any bitch. I don't even lie. Uh, only two strangers I randomly meet on the last train of my day. You're really, you're really in luck. I'll chalk it up to that lucky rabbit's foot I keep. Or I'll chalk it up to that lucky rabbit's foot I keep. <laughs> I'm scared. Kidding. Bye. <laughs> Ah, really though, what do you do for a living? I actually work, uh, work in games. I'm a programmer, an artist. Hmm. 
what should we make our boys? Should we do programmer? Should we do an artist? It's very interesting. Um, we're gonna do an artist. We'll do artist. He seems like the type. An artist. Oh, so you must be a good drawler then. I prefer to think of myself as a as a wardrobe. <laughs> Just kidding. But thank you. I do like to think I, I draw good. What about you? What do you do to afford balloons? Damn. I mean, that was kind of ass. Yeah, you can't afford a balloon for like 86 cents. I guess you could say I'm in collections. Management. It's rather complicated. Wait, this line doesn't go underground. What? What's happening? Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Where? Dot dot dot. Uh, are we? Are we? And who are you? Why is everything red and backwards? You know you really don't need to yell. Ah, 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 let's do that. Wait a moment. What train did you think you got on? The Expo Line. Going to King George.
I want to see what we're working with. I can offer some say they have wisdom. This week's uh, summary. 6,000. I am good. Wow. Three guys? Look a little closer. Oh, one guy with three. Bahamut's uh, friendship. Ah, so we got the good ending. I love that. I love it. I love that. Okay, can't believe I missed that train. Damn. All right, everybody. Well, that was Midnight Train going everywhere or anywhere. Um, and that was another episode with your boy Mo Games of Three Scary Games or Three Free Games or just Three Games in general. I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. I appreciate my subscribers for, you know, supporting your boy. Um, I'm going to go take a nap. I'm tired. I haven't had the best sleep. And I need to go take my sub. And uh, I'm just, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Babbling on a private note. Well, like, subscribe, hit the bell, guys. Comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, week's three scary games or three free games or three games too. Your boy Mo Games is out. I love you guys. Thank you. Without your support, I am nothing. You guys have a good night. And I'll talk to you later.